Hi guys, welcome back to Graveyard Sisters. We are here today in Glasgow Necropolis and this is part three. So we've came right down the hill now and I think this is, um, <clears throat> well, the stones are still very beautiful and some of them are quite elaborate. But here I think there's some lesser, well, you wouldn't say lesser, what would you call it? I wouldn't say lesser stones, smaller stones. Smaller stones. Smaller. And we're kind of, look at that. What's that, look? In the back of the stone, look. That's... Is a Yeah. Is a Maltese? No, it's not a Maltese. Not it's sure. Let's go and see what's on the front of it. I'm just going to watch my foot in here because it looks very uneven, so just be careful there, Audrey. Or... <clears throat> oh, look. Yeah. Sacred to the memory of the Reverend James Thompson um, Aberdeen, Aberdeen Glasgow Professor in the General Assembly Institution, Calcutta Minister of the Parish of St Aidan's Edinburgh and St Andrew's Glasgow Chaplain to the Four Seas born 14th of December 1854 died 19th of July 1926 it's very and his beloved wife very different and unusual isn't Annie. it look at that it's just so different. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, like, there's a lot of spaces here, so I'm presuming there's probably people interred here too. But we're down at the bottom part where I think, you know, if you didn't have a lot of money, you were going to be going down here. So I'm kind of looking for the Jewish section where we're trying to see if we could find the Jewish section to find the first ever interment here. I'm not sure but if we if we will or not. It's just it's so fast. Yeah there's a lot of definitely probably oh yeah look the <clears throat> wow that's amazing the police hat. And this is in loving memory of John Ord. And he was a ex superintendent at Glasgow Police and he died the 19th of April 1928 in his 67 year. Jane McLaren and his wife and she died the 30th of January, my birthday, 1920. Agnes McLaren Ord or Lockhart, their daughter and she died in 1961. And then their son John Smith and he's got an MBE after his name. 1st of January 1967 and then James Lockhart. 2016. Gertrude. John's wife and then Gertrude, their daughter. It's lovely, isn't it though? <clears throat> there's a lovely feeling of peace here. Um, there is, it's very peaceful. It does feel like you're in a big park. Let's go there. I'm just going to go off this bit because it's slightly quite uneven and I'm just... I'm going to get down. I'm going to go down that slope. It's a slope here, Audrey, so just go this way. Absolutely gorgeous. Do you to go down to the spit down here then? Uh -huh. so, so it's 7.30. <clears throat> this has caught my eye first. Oh, the top. 30. Oh, headless. 37 acres. Hectares. Is that right? Is it a hectare or no, an acre? A hectare. This has caught my eye, but unfortunately, the head is gone. It would have been beautiful. And this Auntie is... Auntie Edgar Campbell, like, student of medicine. Eldest son of the Reverend Robert, called to the United Presbyterian Church. Jan Hura, mother, Janet McLean, wife of the Reverend Robert Campbell, and also Reverend Robert Campbell himself. Died 9th of March 1960, 69. Look at this one here. Held in France. 
a loving memory Waldemar of Waldemar Arena. That's a man who's usual in it. Thirteen months his daughter and Ronald, his son, killed in France, 1918, First World War, age 23. They just tell a story, don't they? Like that's the rain coming on. I'll go, I'll keep going. We'll keep making our way down. <clears throat> it's just been amazing. Absolutely amazing today. We're quite blessed in Scotland as well because we've got um, Green Oak Cemetery, which is apparently it could be one of the biggest cemeteries in Europe. It might even be bigger than... Highgate in London, but we have already we've got grey friars to do as well. There's just so much. Amazing. Don't even know if this is showing up very well here. I know, but how lovely is it under here? Look at this under here. Oh, yeah. It's really quite pretty. I think I'm going to go and have a wee. <clears throat> Another under the tree, guys. Hidden. I think it's <clears throat> when people come to graveyards like this, they do tend to go to the big, huge tombs. And all the little smaller graves usually do get, you know, forgotten about. So. And these were just obviously your average Glaswegians that were just living their lives. But it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's just amazing. I'm not very legible, a lot of these here now. Just kind of makes it look more enchanted, doesn't it, under here? Yeah, it's very... I'd love to come in here at night. Unfortunately, they do shut it. This one here. Erected by Elizabeth Keane in memory of her husband, Alexander Mackay, he was a bricklayer who was killed at the Leith Sugar Refinery. On the 27th of February, 1865, aged only 24, Rest in peace, Alexander. Sugar refinery in Leith. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so Audrey's from the other, well, lives in the other side of Scotland, so she's quite familiar with <clears throat> Leith and where I'm more familiar with the Glasgow area. This is, this is just beautiful. And it's neat, well, it is, just it's very, very late summer now, so few weeks and this will just be a carpet of orange leaves it will be absolutely gorgeous yeah just there's a lot of forgotten about people here so they're not forgotten let's see if I can read some of these out here they're not very this one over here Erected by John George Wilcock, Willock, sorry, in memory of his children, John, who died the 4th of October, 1860, aged seven years and nine months, and James, who died in 1851, one year, four months, and three of his children who are interred in Kilmarnock High Churchyard, Elizabeth Mary Ann and James, aged respectively one year, three and a half years and one month, and the above George, Willock, and then Mary Douglas. How sad, how sad. Rest in peace. That's really sad. So many little children there, just... Just Buchanan, nothing else. This would have been absolutely beautiful in its time as well. James Crawford. Can't read it. It's 
beautiful here. Just, you don't know where to go, you don't know where to look, you're just looking everywhere and you're seeing graves and you just don't really know where else where to go next to you. <laughs> no. Will we go back up? Or will we stay down? We stay down just now. Stay down just now. Stay down just now. We'll walk around this way then. These are definitely all forgotten about. Suppose if you're only if you're a tourist, you don't have a lot of time. You're going to look at the most notable ones. We know that Charles Rennie Mackintosh is buried here. As also, is Alexander Greek Thompson. Yeah. As we have not come across. No, we've not found them. Of those. I presume they're definitely not down this part anyway. And that's this is the brewery, isn't it? That's the tenants' yeah, brewery. That's, the tenants brewery. that's where the tenants' lager comes from. I would tell you what my, my nickname is it for is for it because it's rude. <laughs> I hate it. I don't like it. It's disgusting. A true Scot and I don't like tenants. <laughs> <clears throat> and then go down here. As much as it's forgotten, it still feels extremely peaceful to me. Do you pick the same up? It's peaceful, isn't it? Yeah, certainly is. Certainly is. This part here is quite forgotten about by the looks of it as well. We have this huge one here, look. So we're trying to cover as much as we can and show you all the different sections that we can today. But we'll always come back. We will be back. Definitely be back here. It's huge, but not very legible. I'm just wondering if maybe these are some of the first graves that maybe have went in here. There. And that's the half pillar again, which means that's a life cut short. sparse in places here so there are obviously more people interred here but yeah as I say people use it as a park there's two joggers it's used for all sorts it's a great space it's just nice to go and sit amongst the the graves sometimes I think and just sit and feel the peace look at this one that's sad in living memory of Agnes Weir, wife of James Baird, who died the 21st of January 1905, aged 68, and of their six children who died in infancy, and then the above James Baird. Sad. So, I'm going to leave this video here for now. I hope you've enjoyed this little, little walk around the older section in the Glasgow Necropolis. Thanks for watching. Take care, please hit the like and subscribe button.